Good morning. It's uh, a little bit after four o'clock in the morning. And um, we just got this knock on the door, bang, 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 bang. And long story short, we are locked in our apartment. There was a uh, confirmed case. Well, there was somebody who was on the same train from Shanghai as a confirmed case. There's no case in our building as far as we know. And, um, but we've just been locked down. I'm going to text my boss, text my students, tell them classes are canceled today and uh, we'll see what happens in the future. And uh, wow, here we go again locked down in Wuhan. So, how do you feel? Locked down? I hate it! <laughs> I hate it! I have... Can I look better? No, nah, never mind. <laughs> it's four in the morning. It's at home. It's ugly color. Well, never mind. So I have four more classes before the midterm exam for my grade 10 students and uh, three more classes for my grade 11 students before their midterm and uh, a lot of paper to read uh, to, 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 to grade for my grade 12 student. You're, you're too good a teacher. You're just thinking about your students. Well, what should I think? I know I'm, not, I'm not going to be starving here. I, I don't worry about that because we have six months experience. We are pretty experienced. Oh yeah, we, we are experts. It's just the teaching. I hope I can teach online, but uh, I don't know if my school are going to let me do that. If they don't let me do that, then I have to ask um, sub teacher to cover the classes for me but you know this is the last several last a few classes before the exam I don't know if the students are going to be happy they're going to take a test but I'm not there that's so true I mean for the students it's all about them <laughs> well they know their teacher is going to be fine yeah <laughs> But I hope they can go to school. If if you know there are more more cases found in Wuhan, maybe some of some of the students are going to be in the same situation as us. Yeah, but we don't know anything about it yet. All we know is bang, bang, bang at four o'clock in the morning. Get a test. People in white suits. All right. Are you gonna go back to sleep? No, I'm contacting my boss. Um, I am arranging my classes. Okay. Looking down from our 22nd floor apartment at the gate, I, you know, I don't even know what they're going to do. I don't think they're going to close the gate. This is, um, this is only our building. There's two buildings here in our apartment um, complex, just two 28 story buildings. And, you know, so far it doesn't even look like they're gonna close the other building, you know, right next to us. So we'll see what happens, but um, I, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hi again, it's uh, about 6 a.m. and not a whole lot has happened in the two hours since we were rousted out of our beds. But uh, I just want to um, give a little background to what the situation is. You know, first of all, uh, it doesn't look like there's any, there's, there, there's no danger. You know, there's an infinitesimal chance uh, that this is a problem, but they are taking, you know, precautions because that's the way they roll here. This is what we know, or what, yeah, this is what we know. 
there was uh, somebody in our building who was on a train back from Shanghai. And in that same train was somebody who was infected. And I believe that um, that that would be the only case here in Wuhan. It's not like we have had any cases recently. So um, they're being extra cautious and uh, it looks like they will lock down our building only. We'll have to stay here and um, well, I did a video recently on um, the Time and Space Companion, which is if you are uh, within an 800 meter by 800 meter square for more than 10 minutes with an infected person, uh, then you are uh, considered a time and space companion. And then one step, um, I guess more serious, would be a close contact. And that's what that person who lives in our building was, a close contact because um, they were in a, well, a closer space in the train with somebody who was infected. Uh, we'll be um, stuck in our apartment. However, we will be able to um, go downstairs to pick up food that gets delivered. And since the other building next to us is not locked down, everything should be, um, you know, fairly normal. And there's no reason to think that, um, you know, everything that's available now, supermarkets, uh, restaurants, um, pharmacies, whatever, you know, are gonna be available to us to get delivered. So all in all, um, this is just a, uh, a hiccup an inconvenience, knock on wood. Let's go see what we have in the fridge. All right, we've got the important things. Coffee, bread, and beer. Some ham and cheese. more coffee, salad dressing, that'll come in handy. And in the freezer, this is great. We've got tons of uh, dumplings. And more dumplings. And a little ice cream. And some fish, ice cream and fish, lovely. And we've also got a lot of instant noodles tucked away somewhere. We have a lot of instant noodles, right? <laughs> yeah. Being veterans of the original uh, Wuhan lockdown, um, we spent so many hours out here on the balcony during our 76 day lockdown back in, when was that, 2020? And um, yeah, this is nothing new. It's kind of funny, looking down at uh, my gate, I can see a cleaner, a security guard, somebody walking to work. It's uh, almost 7 a.m. now, I guess the city is waking up. Everybody's gonna go on with uh, the normal day except us. <laughs> Can't really see, but behind that white car is our uh, Rugan Mian, our hot dry noodles. Uh, neighborhood place and then off in the distance like the bat signal is McDonald's <laughs> open and ready for business uh, it looks like students going off to school but I had to cancel class uh -huh. see that car is moving that's on the side Unfair! Can I go to that car and get out? So this guy obviously lives in the building next to us. Yeah. Otherwise, they can't escape. Mm -hmm. See? Escape. He's going out. 
I want to go go out. I want to be in that car. Oh, accident. Be careful. Okay. Another student is walking out to school. Oh yeah. It's seven o'clock. Everybody's ready to go. Ah, uh, but we got stuck here. Uh, I want to go out. I want to go out. There's a, there's a person walking on the roof of the building. People are walking out. <laughs> uh, poor Summer, she wants her freedom. <laughs> she wants her freedom to work hard and go to school and make sure her students are going to go to a foreign university. <laughs> All right, I am going to end this video. I'll give you an update as soon as we know anything more. Hey, if you uh, liked this video, press the like button. If you want to leave a comment, drop a comment below and share this video with people who you think might be interested. Oh. And finally, <laughs> did you say huh? And finally, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. All right, looks like we'll be here all week. Bye.